Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are back once again on Super Sedusa number 2. We're doing chapter 3 today which is called Interracial Dating. Hopefully Richard's not going to be up to some naughty stuff today. So if you guys did miss out on the previous two videos, I hope you could go back and check those out because they're banging videos. I don't think many people have actually watched the second one. I don't know why. You guys seem to really love the first one and not watch the second one so you should definitely go back and miss out check out boss inspection if you did miss out but today we're doing interracial interracial dating and let's see what the goal is has a british born chinese man seduce a beautiful brunette or whilst a drunk richard is trying to help or hinder the proceedings goal gone a date so actually we're not being richard today we're being someone else so maybe but Richard has to get involved because Richard just has to get involved. So let's just jump into this and see how things are going to go today. Hopefully there's no squares this time. Mike, I really liked our first lesson. So what are we going to do today? We're in the restaurant. Maybe do some food stuff? Maybe some food, yeah. yeah? Some, some names for food. Okay, wait, let me remember from last time. Uh, okay. Is it Chinese? Very good, yes. Yeah. Well done, Richard. Speaking a little bit of Chinese now. Mm. Yeah. Hey, listen, why don't we order something first? Yeah. Where's the waitress? Let's get something. What are you going to have? I think I'll have a juice. Yeah, orange yeah. and pineapple juice. Yeah. Oh, oh, classic. Are you ready classic. To order? Yes, please. We'll have an orange and pineapple juice, please. A fresh one, right? Yeah. Lovely. Please. And uh, vodka for me, please. Okay. Thank you. Richard the alcoholic. Okay, no. Yeah, it helps me relax. My language just flows, you know? When it doesn't I help you learn, man. No, it does, definitely. I use it all for uni. Anyway, so. Okay. What's some, uh, give me some food, some common dishes. Food. Oh, uh, fried rice. It's chow fan. Chow fan. Chow fan. You can ask for some nice roast pork fried rice, which is cha shou rou chow fan. Cha shou zhou. Cha shou zhou chow fan. Zhou. Yes. Zhou. Cha shou zhou. Cha shou zhou. Yes. Thank you. Fan. And the address. Um, what's another one? Chow fan. Um, you can also do... Wo xiang Beijing kao ya. Beijing kao ya. Beijing kao ya. Beijing kao ya. Yeah. Uh, you can also try xiang, um, uh, xiang su ya. Xiang su ya. That's Beijing kao ya. But with oh, yeah. the pancakes and the cucumber mm. and the, you know, the sauce. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's right, yeah. Excellent. Mm. It's nice. Mm. So, why are we doing so good Chinese lesson right now, er, Richard? Hungry. Err. 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 If you say what uh, what err, uh, that, that means you're very rubbish. <laughs> oh, it's it's hard language, dude. I mean, that's why I need the vodka. Here, cheers. Gunbei. Gunbei? Gunbei indeed, Richard. There we go. Mm. You'll see now. It's going to be much better. Okay. You had enough to drink, man? I'm Charlema. No, man, I haven't eaten. Charlema. I've been drinking with you. Charlema. Trying to teach you uh, Chinese whilst you're. Richard, Richard out of it. Yes, that means, is it good enough? Is it good? Yeah. More vodka for Richard. Oh no. right there. Yes, very nice. Okay, What is what, Richard? Stop. The hell is he on about? Can I have an option now? Can I have an option? Let's when do I get my first option? on the Chinese, man. Western girls don't like Asian guys anyway, so. Most Asian guys think the same thing, and when I approach so you have a better chance. That's true, don't bother then. Why would you do Okay, hey, go for it, mate. Go for it. Michael, yeah? Listen. Asian guys don't approach Western women. That means it's your chance, buddy. She ain't used to it, alright? Get in there. You got this, mate. Right? She ain't used to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Always right. Even yeah, of course wrong, you are, Richard. Right. <laughs> Come on. 
Cool, that's the right option. And you know, for this level, I got some uh, great advice from JT Tran from uh, ABCs of Attraction. He's the top Asian dating coach. And he top, said that his clients top. normally have this problem big where time they Richard don't really now, big time approach Western women at all. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Persuaded me, man. I think I'm gonna go talk to her. What is Richard doing? What do I say? You're asking a drunk <laughs> Richard for advice. This is not going to end well. Tell him to be expressive because Western girls think Asian guys are too poker-faced. Tell him to just be himself. Tell him Western girls suck and only would, and only would want an Asian guy for his money. Sure. Tell him to be quite quite sexual because often Asian guys are not sexual. Uh, always, we always pick the D around here, Listen, we always pick yeah. the D. Look, these Western girls think that Asian guys are not sexual. That's why you always end up in the friend zone. Like, I'm your friend, yeah? So you need to go in there, talk to her, and be sexual. <laughs> All right? Okay. Yeah, this is really interesting because apparently uh, Asian guys can get away with being more sexual because it's against the stereotype. So it was, you know, if a guy comes up and gives quite a direct compliment, um, you know, or, or even is talking I about thought that sex, been a red he light. can get away with it a lot more if he's Asian. So they seem even more confident. Yeah, and you also need to be especially careful with the friend zone if you're Asian because, uh, you know, women might see or you know have experienced that Asian guys are normally not that sexual uh, so they might be ready to friend zone you so being a bit more sexual is the way to go all right Rich I'm gonna do it I'm gonna talk to her go for it thanks for the advice man. you're asking just even drunk Richard give her a direct direct compliment be indirect and ask her opinion on whether you should get a piercing don't ever don't ever don't even say anything and sit down and tell her she was expecting you well, hello there. The Romani Serenade of a Little Opera. Oh, eh, oh, oh. Undo your pants, cover your dick with a cushion, then unfair it in front of her. Okay, or use a sexual opener. I mean, we have to see D, right? What's <coughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be terrible. I've been robbed. He's wearing a lot as a hat. Round of applause. That was amazing. That was very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Golden buzzer. That's, That's great. good if he is a great singer. Because yeah, if he's not well. a great singer, this is really bad. So it's almost right. If you're, yeah. If you're a great singer, then yeah, use that to your advantage, I'd say. Yeah. I'm quite a good singer. I'm, the floor's yours. Oh, no. Oh, thank God so for my that. My name's Michael. What's your name? Uh, I'm Anna. Anna, nice to meet you. What yeah. are you doing sitting here by yourself? Um, I'm actually waiting for a friend. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you mind if I keep you company until she gets here? Um, I think she's going to be here in five minutes. I'll leave the moment she comes. Yeah, just... Okay, sure. Yeah. Sorted. <sighs> uh, so just you drunk. said this guy's your student. What is it that you teach him? Dating skills. <laughs> Ancient sex techniques. Hang on a minute, are you being a man? Or Chinese? Tell the truth. Be truth. Truth, truth. But truth. I'm truth. teaching him Chinese. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I grew up in the UK, so my Chinese isn't perfect, but because I'm a friend of a friend, you know, he got me to teach him, so. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's really cool. So, how do you know Chinese if you grew up in the UK? Oh, my parents are from China. Oh, you know, nice. I was born in the UK and, you know, I grew up speaking it. 
And actually, when I was a kid, my Chinese was better than my English. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but so that's your first language. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, nice. And so both your parents are Chinese? Yes, yes. Okay. And have you been to China? Yes. Went quite a lot when I was young. So, mm -hmm. have you? No. Oh. No, never. Yeah. Uh, but I'd like to. Yeah, you should if you haven't. Mm. Yeah, go for it. That's the right answer. You know, in this case, you could have joked or whatever, but it's actually pretty cool to say you teach Chinese, so why not? Yeah, absolutely. You don't meet people who teach Chinese all the time, so I think it's a great thing. It's also a conversation starter. Exactly. You speak some Chinese? Ni hao. Oh, nice then. <laughs> ni hao. Ak ni hao. Um, okay, I organise events, so um, mainly music events, where I scout out bands and solo artists and then put it all together. Um, See, opera singer. Yeah, that's what I do. I really enjoy it, and I want to do weddings in the end. So, I mean, it sounds like you have quite a creative side, you know, if you're involved with music, you know, even if it's just as an organiser, I mean, that must interest you. Yeah, exactly. I love, I, I have a massive creative side. So Creativity. I kind of like do it. I like doing everything. And it's really nice putting people together and kind of mm -hmm. starting, a, you know, a party and things. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, do cool, cool, you, cool. Do you like events? Um... Do you yeah, like I mean, events? Music events? Yeah. I mean, Chinese sounds really cool. Um, could you teach me something in Chinese? Uh. Teacher to say I like you. Teacher to introduce to introduce herself. Teacher to say I'm horny. Please help me. But make her think she's saying she likes cat. <laughs> say you'll do it, but you want something in return. Teach her some cuss words. Do we? Do I want to know a Chinese curse word? Yes, I do. So, E, please. Teach you some Chinese. How about some swear words? Yeah. Chao ni ma. Chao ni ma. Chao ni ma. Yeah, really, really put the effort into that. Chao. Because that means fuck. Chao ni ma. means fuck your mum. Chao ni ma. Chao ni ma. That's the real version of the swear word. You know, if you go to China, you might hear people saying kao or kao ni ma. Kao ni ma. Kao ni ma. Tame compared to tao. Tao ni ma. You spit it out, you know. Tao ni ma. Tao ni ma. Tao ni ma. Yeah, yeah. Tao ni ma. Just tao. Tao ni ma. And also, you can say, you know, when you're when you're saying, ah, fuck, ah, tao, what tao? Tao. What tao? So yeah, that's a good thing to learn. Very good. What tao? Normally the most uh, popular thing to learn in any foreign language is the cuss words, so uh, that's another good option here. Better than just teaching something bland and... We are common. smashing this yeah, by pricking... if you can make her laugh by the end of it, instead of just saying how to say hello or goodbye, if you can make her laugh, then that's a win-win. Win-win indeed. So I've been teaching you some Chinese. Why don't you teach me something? Do you speak any other languages? No, I don't. No? No, it's really bad. You've never studied another language? When I was in school, I did a little bit of French, but oh, okay. it's really mm. bad. I'm not going to do any to you. Mm. Like, it's offensive. <laughs> yeah. Everyone but has to learn must, language. So do you speak other languages? Uh, speak Richard is out question. for the count. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, do you want to say anything in Russian? Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. And do you speak any other languages? Bit of Italian. Mm. Ooh, say something in Italian. Bafung dance cool. monkey, dance. Uh, God's sake. And so Russian, Italian, Chinese and English. Four languages. Yes. Four, that's amazing. I can barely that's do amazing. English. I want to talk about <laughs> Fortnite. Let's talk about Fortnite, guys. Let's talk about, no, travel. You know, generic, simple. Donald Trump. What? Okay, well, sexual positions. You've got to talk about Donald, right? Talk about Donald. So I've had a really good time talking to you, but you know, before we take this, before we take this conversation any further, I just have to find out. You know, I, do you like Donald Trump? Oh God, Donald Trump. Are you fucking serious? No, awful. You awful don't like man. Donald Trump? I did know he's just. No. He's the best U.S. president ever. Oh no. Oh, oh God, God, you like him. 
Oh. I thought you were intelligent. He's an awful man. Awful man. He just looked like a lady. Fucking stupid beneath the surface. <laughs> Jesus. Vodka, please. Vodka? Vodka! Vodka! Charlotte. Yes? You a Trump fan? Are you a Trump fan? I asked you first. Well, I asked you second. I don't like to talk about politics at the table. Politics, money, just keep it to the weather and travel. What else is there to talk about? I've told you, the weather and travel. Ah. There wasn't a description in that option saying, I approve Trump or I like Trump. I thought we were going to be bashing Trump. I thought that was going to be the entire thing. But no. It's uh, liking Trump. She said do travel, so we're going to click Fortnite. So, do you play video games? Um, not really, no. I'm not massively into video games. I'm really into video games. Like, um, there's one I play called Fortnite. Um, okay. The classic. You try it out sometime. Basically, like, you, you play in a group with other people on the web, and you have to build a fort, and then you have to keep the zombies out. You know, you have to... Oh, zombies? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, you got guns, and you got to... Oh, geez. It's really cool. Oh, so you like zombies? Wait, are there zombies in Fortnite? Well, like killing them. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. It's I'm, a good game. I'm not that into it, but I think, yeah, it sounds fun. And so you basically kill zombies with guns. Um, is there anything else that you do in the game? You build a fort. Oh, yeah, a fort. like a base. What do you build yeah. it out of? Just the materials on the level, like, you know. You've got planks and you can build ladders and walls and stairs and uh. boxes and rooms. It's Ooh. like one of the most popular games right now, you know? E even someone who says they're not into video games, uh, they probably find it all right. Nah. Yeah. So here Michael is talking about Fortnite, the very popular game. Uh, what do you think, talking about computer games? I mean, if you find a common ground with her that she's interested in computer games too, then great. But if you're just plucking that for mid -air, you could be really talking about anything. It's probably a no-go. Have you heard of Fortnite? Nope. Heard of uh, PUBG? Call of Duty? Yes. Boom. I'm there you go. I'm not that sad. <laughs> I'm still with the cool gang. Oh, yeah, of course, love. <laughs> so the uh, friend I don't play cards, so that means I'm very Is it cool. A girl? Or? Uh, yeah, a girl. Good. Just a friend. So have you ever dated an Asian guy before? Uh, I haven't actually. Hmm. Do, do you want to? Tell her, that, tell, tell her that Asian guys think Western women are not so feminine or ladylike. Merely accuse her of being racist to make her feel guilty. Tell her she needs to try because Asian is amazing. Fa <laughs> <laughs> Bad puns. It's got to be a bad pun. I'm, it's me. I'm doing oh, a bad never pun. never dated an Asian guy. Oh, you're missing out. You know that famous saying, once you go Asian, you know it's amazing. Uh, I didn't know that, actually. Um, <laughs> did you just you make do. that up? <laughs> no. No. It's a famous saying. <laughs> so here it's really weird because Anna hadn't heard of the um, common phrase where um, you say once you go Asian, you'll know it's amazing. Oh. You know? Yeah, I've n it's not been. You heard that one? No, I haven't. Ah. All right, but is it, what do you think? I mean. Because eh, eh, no. she hadn't dated an Asian guy but before. I get that. I mean, you don't have to be, you know, Einstein. And it's amazing, like amazing. Yeah, I get that. Amazing. Too. I mean, still. Just scraping the barrel a bit there. No, all right. What, but, 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 but I like scraping the so barrel. what kind of uh, things are you into? Uh, I'm into cooking. Um, I make a really good chicken okay. pie. Um, oh. Ugh, I meat also pies really are evil. Like philosophy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Demonstrate some value by taking for talking about Buddhism. Demonstrate some value by taking talking about the secret. Tell her that it's soft science and that physics is the only worthwhile subject. What is the secret? 
want to know the secret. Well, if you're into philosophy, you should watch um, a film I watched a while back, The Secret. Have you heard of it? Uh, yeah, I've heard of The Secret, yeah. The concept is amazing, isn't it? I mean, she's going to hate it. She's going to hate it. something. She hates everything you talk about, talk about hard mate. Enough, it would just appear in front of you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not so... Mind-blowing! I'm not so much into The Secret. I think it's a little bit materialistic as a book and an idea. It's like, if you put a picture of a car up, then you'll get the car. No, but, but I mean, you can do it A car with... isn't necessarily happiness. No, but you can do it with relationships as, as well. Like, you know, you can, you can think about relation, your relationship with your parents getting better. Oh, or, yeah, that's you know? nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't have to be used in a shallow way. Mm. That's true. Open up her mind about new things. Secret. I hate the secret. Do, do you, you like why, it? Why do you hate the secret? Because I think if I hate it, it will be destroyed. Because by thinking about something happening, it comes true. It so if I it. think about the secret being destroyed and disappearing, it will manifest. Think harder then, I suppose. For God's if sake, it, Richard. And if it doesn't work, it you proves haven't it. You thought hard that enough. The secret is bullshit. Precisely. So I win or you're way. not very good at it. Richard's like, yeah, so me? Terrible or something? What is this? The napkin. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. see this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so I can make like bunny ears. Um, oh. And what else can I make? Hey. I... Hi. Hi. Hi, Mary. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Um, this is Michael. Yeah, this nice is Mary, you. my Richard. friend. Oh, here comes Richard. <sighs> the hell was that, Richard? Go to help him, throw up on the table, go back to sleep, try to steal your friend's girl. I want to see Richard throw up on the table. So what's this uh, Michael, trick? Michael, man, I know, I know you're trying to fuck these girls here, yeah, but I just feel like, I just hey, feel no. sick. Can you take me home, mate? I'm so sorry about this, I'm so sorry. I just feel sick, man. Oh my God, you should take him home. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's, let's get you home, man. Let's get you home. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That was on the Jesus. table, Richard. You just threw up on it. Oh, oh my God. Richard, you sad oh, little man. Oh, Again, that wasn't on the table. Oh, my God. Emma. Oh, I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ, Richard. A bit of a bad impression here, puking up on people, right? Mm, gross. Richard, you're evil. Stop. You need to stop this, Richard. We're going to uh, just go back to sleep. Um, so, it was, thank you for keeping Vodka. me company, but um, me and Mary are going to catch Except up. Off. Yeah. Oh. Well, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, um, nice talking to you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Enjoy your catch up. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I know, it's lovely to see you. Yeah, I yeah, know, I'm good, I'm good. Lots of stuff has been going on. Yeah. You're looking good. Oh, thank you. Personally, I love sleeping, but you've got to man up yep. and be a good wingman sometimes. Could have helped your friend out there. I didn't want a drunk Richard getting involved. That's why I didn't want that. Fine. Drunk Richard can help out. I was just showing out. Michael my trick. Yeah. 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 I don't understand. No, no, no. I don't understand you. Dude. She doesn't even look Chinese. She doesn't get you. Oh, my wenti, my wenti. He's so weird. <laughs> really weird. Sorry. Is that your friend? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a bit drunk. Look, he's had five vodkas. So. Oh, he's a lightweight. Do you have five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> well done, it's the right option. Obviously he needs some help because, you know, her friends come and likely they want to catch up and talk and this is a point where you can easily get sent away. So you need your wingman. Yeah, you don't want to get sidelined in this situation. Mm. Definitely not. So that's an interesting trick with the napkin. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Um, She's where? good in that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good at tricks, part of tricks. Oh, God. What the hell is he doing? 
I got ignorant, I don't quite to the truth. She's so cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? Bye, <laughs> Mary. I guess you catch up with her later. Yeah, I guess I won't see her for a while. Yes, my friend likes to dance and sing when he's drunk. Does he? Does he? I bet he's embarrassed you a lot. <laughs> yes. Can you dance? Mm, not really. Maybe one I've had a bit to drink. Yeah, but... I'm sure you can. Yeah, I, I can dance. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoy it. So, you know, I'm really glad I came over to talk to you. You... <laughs> You're a really nice, sir. Uh... Yeah, I'm really glad you came over and had the confidence to chat. It's really nice. Maybe, um, maybe we could be friends, actually. Oh, no. Yeah. Friend zoned. Friend zoned. Begging not to friend zone. You say you got friend zoned too much already. Friends with benefits, maybe? Yeah, great. Sounds good. No, 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 that's something I would say. That's a bad idea. I'm not interested in being friends with you. I have too many friends already. Ask if she normally does this with her friends. Stand up and try to make out. <laughs> no. Uh, um, a sob no. story. Don't put me in the friend zone. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Don't always put me in the friend zone. I just don't see you like that. Um, I, I've, I've got enough friend. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You're not a horrible... I it's, could be so much more than just a friend. It's just... It's breaking uh, it's down. Not for, for I could have loved you! <laughs> Madness. Richard! You fucking friend so me! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh, bless. Poor guy, yeah? yeah, bless him. Forget this game has to go OTT with every single answer. Right. Uh, I'm going to do C. Screw it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, yeah, I think it'd be nice to be friends. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think red as well, doesn't it? Well done. Successfully been put in the friend zone. Yeah. Which maybe is okay, right? For now, maybe you can like work harder to get out of it. Wiggle but out of it. Yeah, you're most definitely in the friend zone. So what is it that you do anyway? Well, when I'm not teaching Chinese, I work as a scientist. <laughs> uh, what what kind of science? Work him out of nowhere. Chaos theory. Like in the context of biology, so it's a bit of a it's a combination of maths and biology. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound that interesting. Do you find it interesting? That's so pa that sounds boring. So her around is in touch her, say she's boring as feck. Agree with her. B. It sounds boring. No, 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 no. Let me prove to you um, how it's interesting. Give me a hand. Mm -hmm. So imagine I had a drop of water on my finger and I put it on your knuckle. Right. Which way do you think it will roll? You know, if I put it right on the top there. Um, it would go down here. So the first time we do it, maybe it'll go down here. The second time, maybe it'll go that way. Maybe it'll go back. It's hard to say, isn't it? Because there's, there's too much chaos here. Why? Because the way the droplet falls depends on the orientation of the hairs on your hand. And also the little, the little imperfections in your skin. And... Uh, <laughs> Overall, you know, there's a lot of information. It's very complicated, so, you know, it's, um, okay. it's chaos. Okay. We're learning a lot today. This is biology. We're learning a lot today, ah, guys. Ah, nice. So that's basically what you learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's everyone's hands, not just mine. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> not, not everyone's got perfect hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice. Well, you learn something new every day. Just said Indeed that. you do. Just said that. Let's, can I have my hand back? Please? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> can I have my hand, hand back, please? Yeah, have it back. <laughs> this hand is your hand. So this that's hand the right is option. It's modelled on the Jeff Goldblum scene in Jurassic Park. Um, and it's basically proven that All these point movie again, references. Where it doesn't get. matter what you talk about, as long as you do it with passion, 
that passion is an emotion, it's contagious and it's attractive. I exactly. totally agree. Absolutely I honestly love it. think you could be talking about anything, rubbish, bin liners, for all I care. As long as you're passionate about it, it's super contagious and very attractive. Passionate about bin Laden? No, bin liners. Ah, bin liners. Bin liners. Cool. Or bin Laden? No. Not. No. God damn it, Richard. So other than salad, what kind of food are you into? Um, I'm into like, lots of different food. Um, I love chicken Kievs. Oh, chicken Kievs. Yes, yes chicken me Kiev's. too. Mm. Really good. It's so um, good. What else? I love brownies, anything sweet. Brownies, yeah. yes, cake. <laughs> yeah. Really? Love brownies. Yes, I love brownies. Mm. Oh, can you bake? No. Okay. I'd love to know how to bake, or mm. maybe to meet someone who knows how to bake. Yeah, well, and so what kind of food do you like? Me? I'm actually really into sushi at the moment, you know. Oh, Can't nice. get enough raw fish. I, I love, love sushi, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. I love yeah. fish as well. A yeah. fish? Yes, fish. Yeah, it's good. Swordfish is probably one of the nicest oh, fish I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had swordfish. It's delicious. It's What's so it like? oily and, like, tender. It's... Oh, ooh. nice. It, I always thought it would be, like, tough. And chewy. It's it's chewy, but in a good way. Like it's it's chunky, okay. but, it's, but it's not um it's not tough at all. Oh, know? is it not? It's, it's, oh, it's nice. really like flavoursome. Mm. Oh, delicious! It comes delicious. Because like you know how big swordfish are. You know. They're... Yeah, massive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so you'll have like a steak of it on yes. your. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. nice. It's good stuff. You should try sometime. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. As a single girl, I was wondering whether you're into dating apps or mainly meet people in real life. But I'm very busy, so I don't want to waste time. If you're not going to feck me, what are my chances? No, turn her on, turn her on by visually showing her what you'll do to her. Okay. My friends are going to have a baby boy and I'm thinking about names. Can you help? What's your boyfriend's name? That's a sly way of finding out if you're single rather than just going straight up about it. So I'm going to take the D. So, so I've got some friends who are expecting a baby boy soon, and they're trying to think of a name. Like, do you think you can help think of a baby boy's name? Like, what's your boyfriend's name? Oh, uh, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single. Oh. Uh, my ex's was called Albert. Maybe Albert? Albert? Yeah, OK. Yeah. That's I'll, a very old them. name. I've always liked the name Martin as well. Martin. OK, yeah. I'll suggest that to them as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Roll eye roller number one. Eye roller? Yeah, total eye roller. Just, what? just so not cool. So I've had a really great time meeting you and not getting cool. to know you. But I'm a bit worried about your friend, because my friend Richard, you know, he's a, he's a bit crazy. So I think I'm going to go save her, let you guys, you know, have a catch up, and then um, I'll be off. But, you know, I think we should see each other again. Just being for a meal sometimes, just two of them. Suggest you come to her house to check the feng shui in her bedroom. <laughs> no! What? So you said you were really into chicken Kiev, so why don't we have that for dinner one night? Mm. Ah, so it stops her inviting her friends? Yeah, and I think it shows social intelligence because it's like, look, you're here with your friend tonight, so it's not the ideal situation. So we can meet just one on one another time, and you know it'll be better. Yeah, great, saw it, champion, love it. And um, no, there's no chance of that. Um, thank you for keeping me company, though. Why? Why not? Uh, it's just not something that I want. But we've been Sorry. getting on so well. Mm. Like mm. we've been talking for ages. Sorry, I'm going to finish the What is going on? It's a shame. Thank you, though. What's that about? She's not, she not up right now. She's not banging. No. You want a vodka? Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you, guys. This is vodka. Thank you, Jesse. I'll make it as well, right? What was that about? Yeah. What? What a bitch. What was that about? Socially. Cool. That's the right option. And, you know, for this level, I got some uh, great advice from JT Tran from uh, ABCs of Attraction. He's the top Asian dating coach. And That's he the said worst. that his clients normally have this problem where they.
that's the worst I've ever got any of these ever. Bra. That's... Ma... Okay. Right, I'm going back. I'm, I know this is going to be long, but we're going back in. I want to. I need. To, I want to get the good result. I'm going to skip all this because we don't really need to see yeah. Richard doing bloody Chinese again. Drunk Richard, go away. B. Yes, Bye. that's the right answer. Cool. Yes. Whatever. Yes, Richard. Shut up. Apparently B was the right answer. So this is yeah, this is right. Do not get in the friend zone. Don't go in the friend zone. Right, Don't right. go in the friend zone. Opera. We did. We, we did. Yeah, we did the opera. We did the opera thing. That's we good. Great. We did the opera. Yeah, we did the opera. That's fine. Someone in. Need to skip to the. Uh, Touch of Chinese. Interesting. Yes. Blah 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 blah. This is. This is. We're just gonna. Um. Cuss word, something funny. Yes, 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 yes. Normally yes, the yes, 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 yes. So I've come on, you some time. Richard. Travel. So do you travel much? Um, not really. I I want to travel more. Mm -hmm. Um, I my favourite place that I've been is Israel. Israel. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, wow. It was amazing. It was beautiful. Mm. Um, we've gone, we've, we've gone travel. the same route and then we've oh, yes, split off. Hopefully this time we won't get socially Italy, bloody awkward. Because I'm definitely not time, socially also, awkward, guys. I went from the States once when I was really young. Um, oh, whereabouts, whereabouts in the States? Uh, Florida, Boston, Washington, New York. Oh, cool. All over. So you kind of saw a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, but yeah. it's probably changed a ton by now. Yeah, yeah I've been to New York as well. New York. Okay. Yeah. yeah I New York, I love New York. Yeah, it's lovely. The restaurants are so affordable. And... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it's very busy. Um, yeah. I don't know. What's what's the fav your favourite place that you've been? My favourite place? Probably Nova Scotia. What? The McDonald's there, they do lobster burgers. Because it's, really? you know, it's like a little island. Oh my god. And, lobster you know, burgers lobsters in McDonald's. Everywhere. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> nice. Wow. Hmm. Yes, I remember those lobster burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you've travelled a lot, travel is a good subject. And if you haven't travelled a lot, yeah. travel's a good subject <laughs> because uh, most people like talking about travel. I think, what was it you said to yesterday about travel? No what one ever regrets. Oh, yeah, no one ever regrets travel. You may regret a lot of things in life, you might regret the big burger you just ate, all the shoes, but you never regret travel. And also I think if you, of course you even do. if it's you a bad holiday, bad experience. saying where you would like to go is still on the subject. Yeah, exactly. It's a cool subject. Cool, 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 cool. So the uh, friend that's coming, it, is it a girl or? Uh, yeah, a girl, yeah. Good. It's a friend. So have you ever dated an Asian guy before? Uh, I haven't actually. Hmm. Well, we did the weird that thing, so we'll go over A this well, time. it's not very surprising, to be honest. Like, a lot of the Asian guys I know, they find Western girls to be quite sloppy. Oh, sloppy? Mm, like... Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like, some of my friends don't take off their makeup before bed, mm. which is quite sloppy, but I'm not like that. I'm quite... Oh, that's, good. Um, that's good. You know, like, I'm very clean, and, I, you know, Great. I don't go out too much. I'm... Mm -hmm a little bit more feminine, you know. Good, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you know how they say that um, Asian women, they, they age slower. I don't think that's true. I think they just take better care of themselves. But, you oh, know, really? you, you don't have that problem, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, thank you. Solid. This is a little bit of drama here. I don't know if you'd like this one, but it's, on. it's saying that, you know, the Asian women are more feminine and reserved, which is kind of true. Mm -hmm. And so it's putting uh, a little challenge out there to see how, how you deal with it. Fair enough, he can challenge her. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So what kind of uh, things are you into? Uh, I'm into... Tell us your soft science if it's the only worthwhile subject. We did this already. 
we did see last time. Let's try B this time. Well, that's quite a coincidence because I'm really into Buddhism. No. Oh, really? I started, yeah, yeah. I... Yeah, we talked about... So I think, yeah, if you... Yes, okay. Yeah, so I can do um, a party... A. Best option. I was just showing... Watch this already. Love it. What? Skipping this, Richard. So that's an interesting trick with the net. A. Yeah, I'm not really interested in being friends. I've kind of got enough already. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking for a bit more. A bit more than friendship. This is great because it's yes. being slightly sexual and flirty, not too much, uh, but it's also kind of showing why you're there again, that you're there not because you wanted to make an extra friend. Yeah, and you're confident and you're stating what you Confidence want in the situation. Confidence is key. So this is a good thing. Leveling up. So Richard. what is it that you do anyway? Well, when I'm not teaching Chinese, I work as a scientist. Uh, do the water trick boring. thing. No, no, no. Do the water trick thing, yeah. So so yes. other than salad, what kind of... Do this so one as said. a um, single girl, do you prefer to meet people online or do you prefer to meet them in real life? Uh, wait, how did you know that I was single? Well, there were two things that you did earlier that kind of gave it away. Oh. What were they? I think I'll keep that to myself for now. I might tell you later. Oh. Yes. Nice one. Uh, that's the right option. Tell and her look later. How cool that is. You can use that anywhere. That's the line from uh, our friend Pete. And yeah, it works really, really well, especially with that extra bit of curiosity at the end where she wants to know how you know. So I've had a really great time meeting you and getting to know you, but I'm a bit worried about your friend because my friend Richard, you know, he's a, he's a bit crazy. Yeah, so I think yes, I'm going to go save her, mad. let you guys, you know, have a catch up and then. Um, Okay, I'll be off, can we no, get a better result this time? Mm, we pressed B last time, it didn't work. We pressed A. So I'm actually a feng shui expert, and it's actually very important to get the feng shui in your bedroom right. So, you know, you could invite me over and I could see if um, I can sort out the feng shui in your bedroom, you know, to maximize the flow of energy. You know, I've got to make sure everything's positioned in the right position, at the right Is angle. Is philosophy stuff? Okay, yeah, maybe. I mean, let me tell you a bit about feng shui. Shui means wet. Well, oh, no, it means water. So, oh, okay. Well, that means that we've got to make sure your room is wet enough. Oh, and how, how are you going to do that? But in the feng shui way, you know, not, not literally. And then feng means wind. So we've okay. got to make sure it's wet enough so that you can blow properly. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to blow you. Is that what you mean? You could do that. Okay, and yes. then what will happen? And then, I've got to position you properly on the bed. And oh no. fuck your brains out. Well, okay. you know what? I'd really like to do this with my friend Mary. Um, oh, really? Yeah, do you want to go find yes. her? Yes, yes, that sounds very, and very could... interesting. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, that sounds good. You stay right there. I'll be back. Okay, great. Yeah, great. That wasn't an option, was it? Very, very. We're going to do feng shui together. What? With your friends. With your, friends. With your... I actually thought this one was going to work. Really? You yeah. thought that was going to work? Yeah, well, feng, feng shui is, uh, is a thing, isn't it? Chakras and all that, or whatever. Or whatever, right, okay. Energy flows. Now, you've had enough. Have we? Well, I pressed that AB last time. We got so you the wrong said you answer. were really into chicken Kievs, so why don't we have that for dinner one night? Give me some Ooh. chicken Kievs. Please say yes. Ah, so it stops her. Yeah, maybe. Um, we could possibly meet up, maybe. Cool. Um, Come on. Yeah, just give me a text or something. Why is she being a bit off about it?
Voz. Don't seem happy about it. Cool. Okay. Not bad. You got lots of good options, but also a few bad ones, so you could have done better. Cool. That's the right option, and you know. Wait, wait, wait. So we got, so we got one, so we got one yellow, and apparently we didn't get. What? So you gotta get like a hundred percent right in all of it to get actually get a bra. Richard has made this difficult right now. So if you guys did enjoy that, uh, make sure you smash the like button down below. If you're new around here and did enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button because at least eighty percent of you who are subscribed aren't watching, aren't subscribed. So just. It's free. Just please hit the subscribe button. Our goal is to hit 200 by the end of the year. If we could do that, that'd mean so much to me. It really would. And always leave any comments to get some discussions going. We'd be very much appreciated. Very nice watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.